A cool, dry start to the week. Your forecast is coming up. In case you haven't heard, a meatpacking plant located in the former Thorco building in South Butler is raising a lot of eyebrows due to the fact the company's been processing beef there since June, unknown to a lot of local residents and even a few council members. Currently, the Kansas City Beef Company is processing and packing meat from cows slaughtered off-site, but is asking the city for permission to slaughter on-site as well. There are questions about zoning, and local residents are concerned about runoff into a pond in Evergreen Estates. With so much to consider, the city of Butler will be holding a public hearing on January 12th. It is not known if the meeting will be held on Zoom or in public. Mid-America Live will provide more updates as the date gets closer. A Drexel woman escaped serious injury when her car struck a deer on Holmes Road on Friday. Police say Madeline Keller was driving near Cleveland when the deer ran in the roadway, causing extensive damage to her vehicle, which had to be towed from the scene. A Fort Scott man died in an accident in Lynn County yesterday morning near Prescott, Kansas, when his car left the roadway and struck a tree. 25-year-old Brett Johnson died at the scene. A passenger, 21-year-old Manon Turpin of Pleasanton, received serious injuries and was transported to an Overland Park hospital for treatment. The accident is currently under investigation. COVID-19 continues to make an appearance in the area, and local schools are not exempt. As of late, Archie schools are reporting that an individual has tested positive and self-isolated before exposing others at the school, which is the right thing to do. We've been hearing similar stories from other area schools as well. As we work our way through these times, taking the initiative like this will help keep our local schools open, which is of great importance to our students and administrators alike. Bates County Sheriff Chad Anderson announced that the Sheriff's Office would like to provide Christmas dinner to several local families in need this year. It's been a tough year for sure, and if you know a family who could benefit from this, call the Sheriff's Office at 660-679-3232. The Butler Bears capped off senior night on a positive note on Friday with a basketball win over Archie. It was a tight win, 69-56, and congrats to Leighton Gabriel for adding 13 points to the scoreboard. And this would be a great time to congratulate Hunter Stevenson, who recently completed basic training and will be deployed to Germany in the near future. Hunter is the son of Rudy and the late John Stevenson and is a Butler High School graduate. Governor Mike Parson announced last week that the Missouri Electoral College will meet tomorrow at 2 p.m. to cast their votes for the President of the United States. Prior to the meeting, Governor Parson will sign certificates of acquisition which validate results from every county in the state. Just a note, you can watch it all on Governor Parson's Facebook page. In obituary news, Vicki Rozier passed away December 11th in Independence, Missouri. Graveside services will be held this Wednesday at 11 a.m. at Oak Hill Cemetery in Butler. Services are under the direction of Schoengert Funeral Home of Butler. Online condolences can be left at schoengertchapel.com. We'll struggle to hit the 40 mark today with overcast skies. Low 40s tomorrow with a little sun. A mix of sun and clouds will fill the remainder of the week as highs hang in the 40s to around 50. And we're not to expect any reasonable amount of precipitation until possibly next week. That's your news for now. For all the headlines, head on over to midamericalive.com. Stay safe.